Welcome to Relay. Better time to play video games. That's the actual phrase. You're an actual phrase. Now! Oh, hello! <laughs> now, I didn't know we were alive. At the beginning <laughs> of time. The beginning oh. and end of everything. The great uh -huh. recycling. The epoch of epic Ewoks. Now comes the time. Now. Before our very eyes. I Shiver. Will juggle plates of octopus mouths. Jake will astound and amaze by fitting an entire ostrich up his left nostril. Oh. And Nakara will swing two pigs in circles <laughs> so hard that they will fly. For now, wow. now is the prophesied time, the time of the mass awakening, the time of time and time. Now, the relay station. Welcome. Would that make Nakara have a heliporter? <laughs> Help me! <sighs> yes, Shiver. I would have a heliporter. Heli... heliporter. Puts the chop in chopper. <sighs> that it does. Pork chops. That it does. Hey, Sun Jam, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Hey, everyone! Hey, it's Sun Jammer! Uh, I will off, never not call you Sunyama. Sunyama. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> it just happened one day at CitizenCon. Sunyama. Uh, Sunyama. I, I want to start off. Uh, thank you, Flint and and Miles. That was that that wave to the side was for you. That um, was for you. Yeah. Everything is for you. Everything we do Cheers, is for Flint. you. <laughs> He's upstairs, isn't he? <laughs> sure. Just get a broom. <laughs> just I can just run up there and wave at him and then come back down. Do it. Do it. Oh, God. Go. Mother go wave at Flint. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the key is you got to go fast enough that you get there before he Flint. hears this, which I think it's Flint. too late already. But Confirm or deny <laughs> um, whether or not he complied with our demands. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, I don't have uh, Nakara's name up. Sorry, Nakara. There you are. I'm, a, I'm nameless. Uh, so, welcome everyone. Um, Hello. It's uh, it's a big, big week. Yes. He's either there. The lights are off, so I wasn't going to go up there. I thought he might, he might have been asleep. Ah, okay. Or, or worse. <laughs> welcome. Uh, important, important week. Um, uh, Star Wars has it's been having <laughs> in general. Star Wars. Let's let's be clear. Star Wars is having a banner week <laughs> yeah, between <laughs> between two episodes oh, of yeah. The Mandalorian, which uh -huh. is amazing. No no spoilers, but is probably the best thing in Star Wars. No, not the best, it's, but we're talking top three. It's up there. We're we're talking top three Star Wars content. Um, so good, and then. Uh, I don't even know what the damn game is and called. Then, I've just been playing it. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Uh, Miles said it best. Hashtag all hail respawn. The developer who has never made a bad game since they opened their doors. They have given us a gift of the best Star Wars game since Knights of the Old Republic 2. Thank you, know, you so much. You know what I think my favorite thing about Fallen Order is? What? It doesn't look great. What do you mean? It, it looks amazing. It doesn't look great. It's got like clipping issues and like oh sure half the time when you, when you're going through like little crevasses, uh, BD one like clips through the the side of it like, and oh, it I've doesn't. I've never seen that. I've I've seen it a couple times. It doesn't uh -huh. care, and it's just so much fun. It's good. It's just good. It's very good. Uh, as they uh, say, it is a damn good time to be a Star Wars fan. Yep. It's also, uh, so for those for those who just want to know about the video game parts, first of all, if you like Star Wars, you need to play this game full stop. But my five second pitch on this game for those who may not be as into Star Wars as I am: Do you like Dark Souls? 
Do you like Metroid? Do you like Uncharted and Tomb Raider levels of set pieces? Also, strangely enough, do you like the sphere grid from Final Fantasy X? Because, <laughs> who boy, we've got the video game for you. It's got all of it. Also, uh, if you want to try it, you can do the free trial of the the EA subscription thingy and download it. Do it. That's it. Yep. Uh, as I was saying, it's a good time to be a Star Wars fan. Uh, Star, it's Wars? Star Wars? Uh, Star it's Wars. It's also, uh, and I figure there might be some cross-pollinization of, of fans from Star Wars to Star Citizen. Um, uh, yeah, just, just a little. little. Uh, just a little. A bit. couple people like the same stuff. Some people are weird and like Star Trek instead, but you know. Listen, <laughs> as well. Why do you have to like one or the other? Why can't as you be like well. me and like both? Both. Almost equally. I think Ch I like Star Wars a little bit more. I am like, I, I do like both. I just I like love... trolling you more. Oh, just, just. It's so uh... easy. Listen, Star Wars gets me heated. <laughs> Star Trek? Not as heated, but a mm. little heated. It would get you more heated if they'd make better freaking games for it. Oh. Yeah. It shouldn't be that hard to make a good Star it Trek game. Be that hard. No, they sure shouldn't. Like, Bridge Crew was good. Bridge Crew there was good, been, but like, there have been good Star Trek games. There's never been a. Great I would, Star I would Trek say, game. Star Trek Online oh. is good oh. for those who like it. Birth of the Federation, and there's a mod that's better than that's amazing that. For Stellaris called Star Trek New Horizons. Yes. That I don't even bother playing Stellaris anymore. I just play nope. Star Trek uh, New Horizons. Yep. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> it's much better. I agree. I didn't know that. Honestly, they need uh, like oh, a, a there was... Mass Effect style Star Trek game with like mm -hmm. decision making. Yes. Yes. A, a, like a decision making yep. Spe RPG. Speaking as someone who has started making RPGs for Star Trek, <laughs> you know, there is so much fucking work in making a sandbox for Star Trek. Just doing yeah. it for a TTRPG is gonna is daunting. Doing it for a video game. So well, you need like, you, you need more than one person. That's for sure. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, because there is some cross pollinization between the star fan bases, uh, the, the 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 star trilogy, as as it were, um, the starlogy, starlogy. The starlogy of fan bases, um, you know, it's it's good to see uh, Star Wars doing really well. Oh, the Star Triangle, yes, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Great Star Triangle. Um, anyway, uh, uh, Star Citizen is uh, well. So we don't know yet what Star Citizen, what kind of week Star Citizen is about to have. It could be. We know it could be a banner week, like Star Wars. Bring back... So I thought you meant you wouldn't like it when it gets angry. <sighs> it could be a banner week, like Star Wars just had. Or it could be... That was, uh, that was a Bruce Banner joke. It was, yes. A Mar Marvel joke, yes. Um, or... It wasn't that good. It could be uh, uh Tessa Banner. We we missed that one. Oh yeah. Tessa Tessa Banner. You know, I I I'm giving up on that entire point. We'll <laughs> see if Star Star Citizen has a good week this week cuz Citizen Con is there's in that, one week. There's yep. that new uh rap pop star MC Banner. M stop, it's Banner time. <laughs> I'm just sitting here wondering. If I I'm think someone needs to banner you. I'm, I'm figuring if, trying to figure out if I'm going to stop rolling my eyes before the end of the episode. Uh, no, no, <laughs> no. Come for Star Citizen. Stay for whatever the hell this is. Stay for the chicken nuggets. Mm, nuggets. 
So. So. Sorry, well, I just we've wanted a little a bit million. of an awkward silence there. Yeah, and you, yeah. Know, you usually do. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Star Citizen. Yep. Let's do it. It's a video game made by Cloud Imperium Video Games. Do you know? I think it would be a really good idea if they, I don't know, once a year did this um, gathering somewhere uh-huh. where other like-minded fellows could get together fellows. and exchange their viewpoints on the game in development. And maybe we could have a developer or two give, I don't know, some sort of show or talk on what it is they've been working on for the past year and where they're going forward with things. And who yeah. knows, maybe we could wheel out Chris Roberts, Hannibal Lecter style, <laughs> and have him give a talk he needs to pop on out what's of the going box, on. Though. Also, oh, yeah. Shiver, I find it very dis- uh, your your use of the term "fellows" is very disrespectful to all twelve of uh, uh, CIG's female fans. So, is "fellows" not gender neutral? No. What is what is the what, really the, the feminine version? Not, not of... a fella. Oh. Not a fella. A fellow. No, a fellow literally means a man or boy. Yeah. Fellow is really, yeah. Fellow is one hundred percent. Well, today I fucking learned. (laughs) No wonder I get those bad stares. (laughs) Uh, Apparently, Chapas is the female version of it. Wait, what is Chap Chapas? Chapas. Well, in fairness, I don't expect to see many chapesses at the Star Citizen <laughs> Citizen Con Festival of Gatherings. Wow, chapess. Yeah. Yes. According to Google, chapess is the is the uh, female version of fellow. You learn something new every day. <laughs> I wow. literally have never heard that term in my entire life. Me neither. I, I wish I could use that time. term more in casual conversation, but yeah, I don't like, know yeah. anyone outside of the internet. <laughs> the, to be fair, there are lots of people inside the internet. So, oh. Yeah, they've been trying to get out for years. Damn yeah. tubes are hard to navigate. Okay, Star Citizen. Yeah. <laughs> It's a video. Sorry, that was my fault. I apologize. Uh, 12 minutes and 37 Imperium seconds, game. people on YouTube. <laughs> uh, that, are we time stamping where to edit? Or is that the cut? That's that's where you can skip to if you want to just skip to the Star Citizen. Got content. it. Okay. All right. Show and tell? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's start it. with show and tell. Show that, that beautiful baby boy. I did not 100% prepare it, so you're going to have to give me a second. Oh, that's that's just a Google Drive. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> he says he didn't 100% prepare it. I think he didn't 1% prepare it. I, yeah. I, 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 might yeah, have I, zero, I might have 0% prepared it. Uh, uh, in, fa- have, in, in your defense, have you again. have a newborn. <laughs> yeah. I do have a newborn. Uh, that's a pretty good defense. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. Jake, yes. Go uh, your your ship. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. It's got mm-hmm. it's got these like spanglies in the these red sp- sprongles in there. You'll see them. They're yeah. coming. <laughs> Gotta have them sprongles. I thought this is kind of an interesting uh, look at sort of how they white box everything, and they're like, so we make the outside, and then we make all of the bits. <laughs> and all we try and the shove them inside. <laughs> uh, yep, got to have those sprongles. Bits. Look at those sprongles. I love the way that those panels yeah. open. Oh so my god! Cool. <laughs> I so for for those who you know don't have audio right now, these those those panels that open are going to be the component panels for the ship. Yep. I gotta say. I don't like the sprongles. You know what, David? You don't have a prowler. You don't have to like the sprongles. 
I like the one handed, like the, mm-hmm. the, the joysticky thing. The way he described it sounds really cool too. He's like, the whole thing will just like twist as yeah. you fly. Yeah. Okay, Which that's going to cool. look amazing. <clears throat> yeah. I, I find that they yeah. just make the ship really, really busy. Yep. You do realize that this is a bird species, right? I know. They could they probably make hang upside down from the ceiling. Off the <laughs> They're not bats. It just Come it, on. <laughs> I I feel like it should have been more based on Actually Triangle. no, I guess it is pretty based on like uh bird bone structure cuz their bones are hollow. Yep. And they were also kind of going off of like basically like Trees. the structure of a tree or a nest. Kind yeah. Of. They actually said that the audio on the inside is kind of like a nest. So I'm kind of I'm very curious to be. I uh, also love that stair the 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 ra- the ladder. That's a I'm trying to say staircase, but it's a ladder. I kind of hope that that uh like the the ground there, the floor looks mm-hmm. like it's one of those uh uh flat escalators. <laughs> I really hope that there's a flat escalator in there just just from one end of the prowler to the other so you don't have to walk. It's not even a big ship, it just yeah. right along. just go. <laughs> But I wanted to service that paddle. Okay. So, Jake, as the <laughs> owner of the Prowler here, yes, are you happy with what you're seeing so far? Yes, yes, I like it because it looks like no other ship in the game, like mm-hmm. not at all, and that's what I wanted more than anything. Uh, the 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 control stick thing is the best. I love it. And it makes so much sense because it's all about hovering and stuff. So you need that fine control. I have another question for you. It seems very, very far away. It's Are you not. Sad? How far away is it? It's coming well, in three eight. So it's like a month away. <clears throat> I mean, unless they're showing us something that's fairly old. There's a lot of um, they do. Uh, I just wanted to clarify something. One of the things I mentioned a few weeks ago, I'll, all the episodes or a lot of the episode stuff was recorded a while ago because Jared had to go to the UK and has been there uh, for yeah. like weeks. Yes. So they're playing stuff that isn't necessarily brand new. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. <clears throat> I just, I saw it and was wondering because it seemed like really not complete for where it needs to be, but... That, oh uh, my god, what if, right? What if the, the CitizenCon video is going to be this carrot finding a jump point, then coming back to report, found jump point, give me money, but then the Prowler comes in, yeah. mounts it as it does, forces its way in like Trump and takes the carrot. Uh-huh. <laughs> it would be really cool... Like if the prowler like, like landed and it's like side things attached and then it's butt end like drilled in like a hornet and spat out the people that way. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I love the description of it being spat out as well. Spat. Spat. Patoo. Um so that's the, the prowler. We'll see it soon. I like they have a lot of ship ship work to do here in the next month or so um they're currently at eight out of 28 tasks done on the prowler and 60 of 132 on the carrick so well they got they got a long ways to go carrick's a big boy <laughs> yeah carrick is a big boy yeah okay what do we got next Which is the the carrick's roughly the same size as the um 890 isn't it give or take five meters yeah yeah, I'll find boy. out for you. Okay. It's going to be a big boy. Yep. I just want my Endeavor. That That is definitely a long way off. Yeah. Very. Yeah, but that's okay, because it's going to be great. Um, uh, yeah, sure would. Okay. Uh, so, the rest of ATV... Or, not ATV. God. Uh... ITV, I guess. This week focused on tools. It's it's ISC. ISC. Yeah. 
Start right. God. <sighs> Quick baby update. Link was uh, going about three to four hours between feeds. But literally in the last two days, he said, nah, fuck that. I want to eat every two hours. Ah. Oh. So, so he's I just, mean, it, in he's fairness, just... if anyone could have food on demand, <laughs> it would be every two hours on demand for free. But this he eats every two hours, but then it takes like an hour to get him settled to the point that you can put him down. So you've got like 45 minutes to sleep before he wakes up and starts crying again, wanting more food. So, um, uh, Cass has been trying to force me to sleep and, uh, so far I've been refusing. I so, mean, you should probably sleep at some point, my you friend. Probably You're sleep. asleep. <clears throat> so, uh, they, they went over some tool stuff this week in ISC. Thank you, everyone. Um, we've, um, we've... so ahead. I finally actually found it before we move, move on here. Uh, the Carrick is about 60% of the length of the 890. So it's not that big. It's only three fifths, really. Yeah. Shit. Still a big ship. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yep. Okay. Well, actually, no. Hang on. We're talking about ships right now, so let's let's talk about ships, because I got a question. What was that? Well, in, in the Discord, people have been speculating... Specu it's easy for you to say. Speculuming. Speculuming? Speculating. Sporkle. Yes. People have been sporkling. Sporkle. Uh, people, uh, fuck. <laughs> people have been speculating... <laughs> About how many ships we might see at new ships we might see at CitizenCon. Guesses range anywhere from two to five that I've seen. Yep. One, where are you in that range? And two, how many of those do you think will be flyable? Three. One. Damn. Damn. Um, I say damn because I pretty much agree with Jake. Yeah. Uh, I think that's right in the wheelhouse of where it's going to be at. 3-1. What do you think, Shiv? 3-1? Yeah. 3-1, Question. yeah. Question. Does land one vehicles... One mystery ship that's going to be flyable. Does land vehicles change your uh, no. expectation no. at all? No. I, no. I, I consider them ships because so does CIG. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's they're not. It's not a ship team. It's a vehicle team. Yeah. I've seen a bunch of twos and ones. Anyway, I think I there'll just, be. One, I think there'll be one that's like really far off. One that they're like, "Hey, we're working on this, and it's coming in a little while." Yeah, like it'll um, be. And one, it'll be and, in three nine or something. Yeah, and then one that they're like, "It's out now. Go buy it." Yeah. Do you yeah. think they'll, the they'll... Con special <laughs> ship? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think they'll exactly. show a couple like Squadron Forty Two specials of like, hey, we've been working on this for Squadron and they're done now. Here, maybe. Yeah, one maybe of those ships is going to be that ship. It's going to be the Squadron Forty Two special. Yeah, yeah. My buddy. All right. Does anybody else get the feeling we might not hear anything about Squadron at this thing? I have a, I have a funny feeling about that. Really? Yeah. yeah. That would be a. That would be a. That that. Would not be that unheard of. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But it would be a fucking wasted opportunity, though, because it's sure. the UK it's studio who's most responsible for it. It's the biggest studio there. It would be, it would be like getting CitizenCon together, hyping up Squadron Forty Two, and then doing a presentation on fucking Spectrum. They've um, never done that before. Uh, <laughs> would. How much? Sorry, I'm just. I don't mean to sound like I'm completely cynical, but I'm. I. You never know. How. How much blowback would there be from that? A lot. A lot, a lot for like two months, and then everyone would forget mm. about it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, the thing is, I look at the schedule, and I mean, unless it's in the unless it's in the opener or in the closer, there doesn't seem to be anything about Squadron, really. There has to be an update. Like they have, they can't pull a twenty sixteen. Yeah, it was twenty sixteen because yeah. we were there, and they were like, "Hey, we're not going to show you." They cannot pull that. <laughs> Like they can't. Pull I mean, in fairness, this is already different from 2016 in that they haven't hyped up squadrons yeah, yeah, going to be shown point. off at this citizen con. They've been very. But harsh, if we re- if we receive an email that morning, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. also never happened before. <clears throat> anyway, um, so, so so you guys think that we might not see much squadron at all, eh? I I think we will. Like, I'm yeah, hoping I, we will. I reckon we will. Fuck it. Yeah, we're going to fucking see the whole fucking game from start to finish. It's going to be released. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I just wanted to clarify. I am not saying that we won't see squad. And I just, I look at the schedule and I'm like, well, it's going to have to be in pretty much in the keynote because none of the other ones really, they don't, they're not like aimed at squadron in any, specific way okay i've got another question we've been talking for a while about what we might see at citizen con and one of the prevailing ideas for a long time has been jump points right now what if they're not ready for star citizen yet but they're going to show it off through squadron yeah that's definitely possible absolutely because we know that they exist in squadron they pretty much have to be ready for squadron at this point and we have no idea if the tech exists for star citizen yet or not um i just wanted to address something that was in chat yep. just for a second go so <clears throat> yeah uh smile and viking j2 smile and viking um it's supposedly releasing next year but i think supposedly is the key term there I'm yep. looking. I'm looking at the roadmap, and I'm looking every week at it when I do this. When we do this show, and they are not making much progress on the chapters, like at all. They're still stuck in some of them in stuff they were supposed to have done five or six months ago. So I'm in my brain. I'm pushing that timeline like way out, way out, way out. Well, it's already. I mean, five. You've already got to add at least five or six months. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm thinking. Citizen that... Con next year. We'll Citizen, Con, Citizen Con next year. I'm thinking Citizen Con next year, we might get a, a release date announcement, which is like, you know, the next year. Because yeah. I just, every week I look at the chapters and they haven't really made any progress on them in recent times. So I don't know why, but. Speaking of, we, we, we might it. find out at CitizenCon. Well, they might just turn yeah. around and say, oh, so you, some of you have noticed that. It's because we're waiting on this. But once this is done, we expect everything to go really, really fast. As I say that, I'm losing confidence in it. But come on. So you can see what I mean now up on the screen. Um, you, the orange ones are the ones that are in progress. And you see the all the all the ones from Q2 that were supposed to be done in Q2. It's now Q4. Um, and they're not done. Um, <laughs> Sunjammer, and... if they if they pull that and like, we're gonna do a Squadron Forty Two Episode One Part One. <laughs> they well, to be fair, there's absolutely no evidence of them doing that either because they're not they're not um no I know they're not they're doing not, it sequential. They're not. Uh, favoring the early episodes at all in fact episode episode or chapter one has no progress in it so i am just thinking it's taking a lot longer than they wanted to get the chapters ready yeah. so there's there's no progress on a lot of that q4 mm-hmm. yeah that is that's the other thing and a lot of think. important ships Unless they're just like not updating the roadmap, which is I guess possible, and they're going to be like at, at CitizenCon, they're going to be like, "Yeah, all this shit's done." 
Actually, actually <laughs> tofu tofu's just struck on something there. Chapter one is surely a lot of um, explanation and yeah. tutorials. Mm -hmm. Actually, that could well be why they're leaving chapter one for now because <clears> none <throat> of that is locked in. So you can't do a tutorial for something that's constantly changing. Yeah, and they could agreed. be leaving those final few chapters to the very mm. end to reduce thinking, the tofu. likelihood of shit getting spoiled. Also that. But yeah, you see, you see, the reason I'm I'm starting to say that is like none of the or okay, of all the things listed in Q2, three of them got done. Of all the things listed in Q3, um, none of them got done. And then of the Q4 things, only three of them got started. So none of the chapters got done, but lots of the tasks got done. Well, not a lot not the of them. A lot of them. A lot of them were kicked down the road. Look at yeah. look at the Q three look at the Q three tasks. They only had Yeah, like three what? tasks. A few things done. That's it. They had a lot for Q four and it's not anyway. You see my point though. I do. Uh, I don't I don't see them going at Citizen Con this year and being like, Yeah, Squadron's gonna be out in six months or eight months or whatever, because it's not. <laughs> well, let's let's hope that we get an update on that this year this next week mm -hmm. in one week we should we should hope at least for an update on the status oh absolutely i would i would hope for an update i'm just you know i really hope they don't pull a 2016 because i was there and it sucked yeah <laughs> while we're on the uh the topic of roadmaps here's the star citizen roadmap yes for 3.8 they have reworked a whole bunch of stuff on here so, Microtech will not launch with its moons. No, uh, they moved the the team from that was that was doing the moons onto Planet Tech V four, which popped up at the bottom down there. Um, which basically will you know provide an overall improvement to all of the planets. Um. Uh, they actually this is one where I wanted to talk about the the explainer note thing that they put out every week with this. Uh, I actually read the whole thing. Um, so I'm going to touch on a few things. So prison prison missions got added in to the roadmap, which is good. Um, so that's in uh in three nine. And um, bah, 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 bah. oh, kind of a cool thing to expand on the mining system. They are introducing different uh, mining heads for your like mining laser thing um, in three eight. Um, so swappable parts there. Um, yeah, we can pay fines. That's good. Great. Um, the 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 really cool thing for three eight was the rescue a hijacked eight ninety jump mission. Yeah, that they showed off. Um, that's gonna be really. cool. That's like that. That's actual important big gameplay, which is yeah, excellent. They but. replaced they replaced the uh, the cockpit experience improvements with vehicle look ahead camera and third person camera improvements. Um, what vehicle look ahead cam? Yes, they're improving. They're basically improving the first person camera in the in the cockpit and then also gotcha. the third also the third person camera gotcha um they they basically said they prioritized those over the cockpit experience improvements um death animation improvements i i mean i'm glad they're doing them but i don't really care when they come so three nines fine with me <laughs> um but yeah, you see a lot of things were sort of shifted around. You want to hear something really weird that you find on the two roadmaps? What's that? Procedural Asteroids V2 is done in Squadron and has now been removed from the road roadmap in Star Citizen and they say they're not working on it right now. Hmm. <laughs> There's There have always been some questions about the, the leakage between the two, but... <laughs> the leakage. Yeah. The leakage. <laughs> uh, we were talking about prisons earlier. They showed off this prison. I don't know if it's a uniform or like a guard outfit. I'm pretty sure it's the it's the inmate outfit, actually. Yeah, cause they're probably working on stuff in zero G, so they need pressure suits. Yes. That seems you... like a bad thing to give prisoners. But uh, well, pressure suits? You wanna, well, you they wouldn't be able to... Yeah, what, what do you explain to do? Just go out and they're prisoners. That not... Are there, I, I don't <laughs> see thrusters on it. Yeah. It's 
Jesus. How else are they gonna sing? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be able to sing in zero G. Come yeah. on. I'm working on the railroad. And we got this image of a uh I like this. I like it. So this Elevator this kind of panel um, kind of thing. This kind of ties in with something that we I noticed from this week is they are talking um, that one in the roadmap update the note that they put out they have uh, shifted a bunch of people over to work on improving the um, the oh, what is it called the personal thought system and the interaction system in the game um, and this kind of makes me think that it, this is part of it <clears throat> is providing I always, actual I always thing. wondered why the why the elevators didn't have touch screens like literally everything else in Star Citizen. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. And with that, that's all the images we had. Uh, they did also show off some of the tools that they are working with. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been updating some of their tools. Uh, we should all be familiar with Copy Build, which is their... It's the first button they press every morning when they get in. Yeah. It takes the current version of Star Citizen and downloads it to their computer. It's, I guess it's their Git. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's it's their Git. But, like, simple, and you don't need to use a bloody command prompt to do anything. And Push button. I hate Git. Um, anyway, it's, it's their Git. Um, important, that's in-house built, I think? No. Yes, it is. Yeah, that yep. one. Is. These are all in house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, most of them are. I, I think you'll find that they're offices now. Uh, there's Data Forge. Yeah, we know. We know all know about Data Forge. Uh, fun the story. Place that holds all the data. Back in the early days of Star Citizen, uh, myself and Commander Lama used to open up the. <laughs> what was the name for those what was the xml yeah we used to open up the xml's <laughs> and and like import all the data for the xml's and figure out like do do data analysis to figure out one what was coming we knew well in advance that they were going to be adding like cpus and all kinds of things and and all the different this is exactly how much damage all of these different weapons do because it's all there in the XML and you just got to find it. Uh, then they then they got DataForge and made it a lot harder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is actually a good thing. Oh, it's, it's, it's a good thing. thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. It's harder to say that there is invariably a best loadout numbers-wise in... Uh, arena commander now but i don't know i just the little part of me really enjoyed digging through the xml's to see what there was mm -hmm. uh, this one is cool uh yep. this is their i guess they call it text source or something along those lines i couldn't really hear we you guys were talking and the video was playing but um i guess it has all of the text that can be displayed. And mm -hmm. I really like that they just hit translation French and paste in the French translation. It looks like a really, really easy way to not only do text for different things and change text on the fly quickly, but also do translations because Star Citizen is going to be massive and is going to require massive amounts of translation. Uh, and this... I hope... I hope they're going to have a British English as well as an American English. Like I American would like, English. I would like American. You American English would be something like, "Get your fucking ass in the fucking office now, so we can fucking tell you fucking off." And then the English, uh, ver the British English would be, uh, "Okay, you fellows, and... have a moment to chat." Okay, fellows, and uh, what, what's the freaking? There's something I'd Ch like to discuss with you. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> right. Okay, fellows and chapesses. You're not um, wrong. Uh, I'd like I'd like both of but you to screw off. But they wouldn't be that different, to be honest. I'd, I'd like both of you to screw <laughs> off. I would like a Canadian English. 
Okay. All they have to do is just put a at the end of every sentence. Yeah. Just, just yeah. two, 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 two. Change the animation <laughs> style slightly for characters so that they just, you know, the top of their head moves when they talk. <laughs> also, they need to say sorry all the time. Yes. Sorry, sir, but. No do to boot it. Fast Cart wants to play the ghetto version of Star Citizen. <laughs> Shit, Scott. All right. Um, what do we got next? Next is... The, this thing looked really cool, actually. It's their way to it's test... awesome. ...whether or not the updates that they're doing to the graphics engine to make, like, Vulcan and shit work are breaking the game. Exactly. And it takes about a million different comparison screenshots in, uh, I guess, in Vulcan and in not Vulcan, and then compares them, finds the differences, and lets them figure out where things are uh, making mistakes. So they've got all mm -hmm. of these different, like, set test sets. You can see them all mm -hmm. along that hallway. And then they run the tool, and it takes a picture in each engine of each one, or not each engine, but each engine, well, version version of, the, of each yeah. one, and then it compares them all, and it shows them a pixel by pixel variance, which is really cool. It's yeah, they're currently converting the entire game to Vulcan, and they're trying not to break it along the way. So that's really what this is about. I think it was I think it was Red Dead Redemption Two actually that launched in Vulcan, and I was really surprised. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, there was a AMD put out an ad that said that, yeah, they were saying that it uh, RDR2 runs better with AMD hardware. I mean, it runs fine. Actually, no, it let, I'll be honest. NVIDIA is having some problems with uh, Red Dead 2. Yeah. 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 I've heard. Um, it I runs mean, fine for me if I'm running it in 1080. It's but. almost as if. It's almost as if AMD looked at the way that Vulcan worked and DX12 and then manufactured their hardware with that in mind. Whereas NVIDIA went, fuck it, we've got the market share. We don't give a fuck. We know people will buy our shit no matter what we stick on it. Let's just stick on some useless wank for lighting rather than actually improve the way that the card uses DirectX 12 rendering engine or video. Because you cunts will fuck. You uh, yeah, constabulary but... officers will buy it. <laughs> oh, I fucking did. Uh, yeah, but but Shiver, I bought my card before AMD was. No, I, I don't think you quite understand how long AMD have been coding for. I mean, Vulcan is Mantle. Mantle was AMD made. DX12, AMD just handle DX12 better than Nvidia, who fake uh... asynchronous and DX12 rendering. But don't get me wrong, there's, it, yeah, that, that, that's your one advantage for an AMD card is if it is properly DX12 or Vulkan, it's going to run it better than uh, NVIDIA, <sighs> probably. Where is my mental SDK? Okay. <laughs> never, there, oh, there it is, my. never forget. <laughs> but, I mean, that is also why CIG are going with Vulkan over DX12, because... You could just have it on uh, Linux. No, I'm NVIDIA mm -hmm. and Intel at the moment, Sunjammer. I would get an AMD CPU, but I'm too I'm, tight. I'm <laughs> team best... I'm team... What's the best one uh, right now? M Mini Eris has asked that any time I burp, I, I say I am Groot, because... Well, you have failed her repeatedly. But I did just there, so... <laughs> makes okay. up for it. Um, um, so uh, for those wondering, I'm actually, I was really curious. So I looked, um, mantle is about six years old and, uh, Vulcan is mantle. So it's about six years old at this point. Right. But which is pretty cool. AMD's cards um, sucked when I was buying mine. Yeah. At the time they probably, well, 1070 in the, in the interim, inter in the interim, there's been some definite times when AMD's cards have sucked. Um, regardless, uh, Vulcan is good for everybody because it works on everything. Anyway, it was neat seeing Vulcan pop up for Red Dead 2. Uh, I will also say, actually, one of the things that pisses yep. me off currently most about, um, 
freaking Fallen Order. There is no resolution option. What? Yeah, there is. Nope. It has to be full screen, you dummy. Oh, those fuckers. I'll have to check that. Yeah, it's if it makes there, you feel I any. Literally just said it like a second ago. I'll have to if check that. If it makes that. you feel also, any better, Red Dead since Two, one of the most recent Windows updates, you're never running anything full screen properly anymore. Red Dead Two, if you reduce your uh, resolution in game, <laughs> it just <sighs> reduces your whole desktop resolution. When you quit, your desktop is now 1080. <laughs> Like it's 2006 again. Bastards! <laughs> and for anyone asking, I'm running 1080 because I'm playing all of my games upstairs with a controller on a 1080 TV because I don't own a 4K TV yet. Oh my god. I know. They're getting cheaper. Yeah, there, I mean, you, you can get a basic one for like you know what's bucks Yeah, but you know what's not getting cheaper? Baby formula. Um, no, I was yeah, going to say... Being being a parent, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There are sacrifices that have to be made. Again, Jake, man. you literally uh, saved my life. Welcome. Like literally saved my life. Literally, literally, Jake. Uh, yeah, Jake. I bought him an Nvidia Shield. Jake was like, "I'm I'm sending you money to buy yourself a birthday or a, a baby gift, but it's for you, not the baby." Get yourself an NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. It's mostly so he stayed sane while he was caring for baby. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that's to, probably helpful. I have to say, mm. uh, really, really happy that I have an NVIDIA card right now. Uh, yeah. Like, really, really, really happy that I have an NVIDIA card right now. Because yep. I, I come down once a week for this to my PC, and otherwise, mm -hmm. I haven't been on my PC. I'm upstairs in front of a TV. You know what did that to me? me? You know what did that to me? Huh. Disney Plus. What? Disney Plus. Oh, did that yeah. To me. I, haven't, I haven't been on my computer since like I played the Star Trek RPG with Chibber. Disney, Disney Plus is great. Yeah. Guys, Disney Plus is. is real good. It's very uh, good. So or this... shows so bad for so many things. It's great. But they don't give us any money for it. So we're not shills. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just ardent fans. We just enjoy all. good products. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh we need some questions. Ask yes, we us sure some do. questions. I'm gonna go see if we've gotten so any questions. Can I, can I talk about my, I actually played Star Citizen for an hour and a half today and it didn't crash for me. Shit, yes, go. Do it. Talk. Uh, I just wanted to I just wanted to share some thoughts. Um, also, I did share I did send you a couple of screenshots. Can you put them up? I put, uh, or one or two, one or two. Did I send you? I sent you one. I'll send you another one. Maybe, maybe I'll send uh, you another one. We'll see. Oh, oh wow! You broke you broke us. I did it. I have I can't. It's it's hard for me to do things. Uh, because I'm <laughs> because I'm I'm bad at doing things, quite frankly. Um, how? Anyway, um, what? No, that's the wrong thing. What the hell is it? There it is. God, I am so bad at everything. All right. Anyway, um, so a couple of thoughts. Uh, Hurston. So I spawned in Hurston. I'm again amazing, not spawning in Port Hol Port Olsar for like the first time ever. Um, I've had a lot of trouble with getting that to work. Anyway, um, spawned in Hurston, explored Hurston. A um, couple thoughts on that uh, game. Actually, runs quite well when you're not in a city, but in a city, especially when you first load in, it's rough as hell. Um, but that's not unexpected. We need SSO. We need socks, man. Um, <laughs> uh, my computer maxed out at 17.7 gigs of RAM used in, uh, in Star Citizen. Um, <laughs> Miami bat. I've seen all the content. Why would I play more? Th there is, yeah, there is that problem. I played the crap out of this new patch when it came out, but I've, now I've seen all the content. Um, 
play every patch. Yeah, I and play every patch. Don't play I've between been, patches. I've been having a really hard time in the past few months with my computer crashing in Star Citizen, so it's been really hard for me to actually do anything. Um, but today it cooperated, and I had just done a whole bunch of maintenance on my computer, and today it actually didn't crash. So, hey, score. Um, it takes way too long to get out of atmosphere, but the trains are fine in terms of times. Um, but getting out of atmosphere takes for freaking ever. Yep. <laughs> um, Again, and, uh, Red Dead 2 is now my my, like, benchmark. It shouldn't take more than like five minutes to get out of atmosphere and on your way to another planet, and maybe another five minutes to get to that planet. Ooh. No more. You know what's got a freaking loading for travel screen thing that's excellent? Star that? Wars does. So, what does it do? You push the button and your ship goes, but you can still walk around your ship while it's loading in the next planet. Yeah, I guarantee and, you and they stole that. that from Star Citizen. <laughs> oh sure, but it's great. <laughs> but but it also doesn't take forty minutes. Yeah, it no, takes no, about no, a yeah. minute. Um, and I wanted to say that they're making a lot of really good progress on the like surface features, the plants and stuff, and the yeah, it looks really good. Um, thumbs up. Um, so yeah, I'm actually planning to continue playing now that my computer's not crashing all the time in the game so that's uh hopefully i can bring some more interesting thoughts um but yeah oh also uh cities are way too difficult to navigate currently i tough. don't know uh, how they area, make it better but area 18 is better designed than than hurston hurston's super confusing to get around yeah but that's okay I'm sure they'll improve it in the future. All I have to do is change the signs. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, questions, questions, questions. They've made it better since Hurston came out, really. So yes, uh, it is I, I have a question for you, Nakara. What's that? Because uh, it doesn't look like Bryce Serena's hair. Does Star Citizen make use of Houdini for physics or cloth physics? I don't know but i don't think so okay also what the hell is houdini cloth it, physics rendering engine it's some pretty cloth I physics think. but i actually oh, sorry that, that's actually something i wanted to mention as well uh player player armors and player characters look amazing in the game right now and the cloth looks incredible like a guy a guy had the cloth like cape and he ran by me and like oh man it looks so good but I don't Thanks, think Jay they're Lee. using. I don't think they're using a third-party piece of. Jay Lee uh, fought for that armor. Star Citizen has always been absolutely gorgeous, and it's always been hard to navigate and understand, especially for someone who's new. And that goes for the website, the game, the community, everything. And yeah, it's just cities are hard to navigate. Ships are hard to fly. When you first start, when you've got no experience, everything is freaking confusing. I've had so much trouble yep. when I gave up on, on HOTAS and tried to go to keyboard and mouse, trying to figure out what all the controls are, because I don't know. And then every patch, rebind, like, it's, it's a hard game to stick with because it's still changing so much and, and it doesn't have set controls and it doesn't have a set tutorial and it doesn't have you know mm -hmm. doesn't have you know it doesn't have you know you know you know mm -hmm. all right tony what <sighs> tony zurevac you know because you he's know. got so many complex things to say he skips over the simple parts by just saying <laughs> so yeah. You know. you know, we just made the code, you know, how it is. And then we moved on to the <laughs> physics, you know. And then we get into the gameplay, and that's when he gets fucking passionate. And, you know, goes out the window. It's just this detail, detail, detail. And you're like, God. I want to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I... I... I legitimately don't know how much I care about the keynote. 
for Citizen Con. You should care about it. I'm excited for panels. I love the panels. I love the panels too, but the keynote's going to tell us a lot. But where they are at and whether they're happy with it. True. And it is important whether they're happy with where they're at. One thing, actually, I haven't... I've, I've literally not done this yet. So I think we should do this live on stream because I haven't done it yet. Uh, because, again, baby! Uh, baby! So I'm going to do this. Look, it's the schedule. Or as some people would say, schedule. I'm not one of those people. Neither am I. Uh, I'd say timetable. So... All the way oh. through, there's. Are they going to be? How are they going to be doing this? Are they only going to be showing one stage on Twitch, and then the others you have to watch yes. after? Okay, so they're yes. only showing the annual stage, I assume. So there's there's yes. two panels that are going to be rebroadcasted. After from like, yeah, later the on. anvil stage during the day. It's the it's the ones that I care about, to be honest. How, they're, they're, how do you mean they're going to be rebroadcast? Okay, they're, so their Croshaw is not being live streamed. Yeah, it's going to be filmed and uploaded after. If you look at the schedule under 5.30 p.m., they will be rebroadcasting the locked up presentation that was done on the Croshaw stage on oh. the live stream. Yeah. Locked up. <clears throat> okay. And then... Yeah. I'm not the sure what the other one is. Another one. I don't remember which one. I think you're imagining things. Yeah, I am imagining things. Yep. Okay, so we're going to be watching The Adventure Begins, which is, I mean, that's important. So 1 p.m., that's going to be 1 p.m. UK time. That's, fuck. How early are you going to be have to be up, Jake? Like 5.30. <laughs> yeah, about that. Um, by the way, they, we found out this week that the pre-show from CIG is starting at noon UK time. What? No. Yeah. No. No. It's starting what? New UK? It's at noon, noon UK time. Okay, so that's 7 a.m. our time. Uh, Eastern time, yeah, I think so. 7 a.m. Eastern, so we got to start at like 6.30 Eastern? Yeah. Which is 5.30 for Jake. <laughs> and I gotta drive to freaking Dolvax. Dolvax. <laughs> you gotta be at Dolvax for like 5 a.m. You're gonna have to drag him out Why don't you just stay the night at Dolvax? <laughs> That's not a terrible idea. Okay, so we're gonna have The Adventure Begins. <laughs> then we're gonna have uh, Terra Firmer. The yes. Continuing Evolution of Planet Tech. That sounds fun. Then some xenolinguistics. I mean, that's fun. If you like alien languages. I do. Uh, micro technicalities. Stanton's newest planet and beyond. Good. And ship sounds. That's fun. If you like ship sounds. I do. Uh, Loremaker's Guide to 2949. Eh, it's fun if you like lore. And locked up. I do. Early insight into prisons. So locked up seems like it should basically be a continuation from Tony Z's talk from last year. Yes. But it lacks Actually, Tony yes. Z. Yes, yeah, Tony Z's got a whole different thing. Yeah. Then there's Shoot 'em Up with Sean Tracy, a new high octane game mode color me interested definitely battle it better be a battle royale load no <laughs> definitely no, even better absolutely even, it would no. be ridiculous even better <laughs> snake on moby glass it's going to be an auto chess auto chess would star be citizen auto chess there it is i would play star citizen auto chess no but you're going to play it in game you play it on yeah. your moby glass while yeah. you're transiting planet to yeah. planet yeah mm -hmm. done Solved, solved the planet problem. We did it. Uh, me, myself, and UI. 
the entire process of turning a written design into a playable feature, that would actually be quite interesting. Uh, TBD for event attendees. Uh, Shiver and Nakara, you guys will probably have to uh, weigh in at that time. While we're not having question. a boxing match. Hey, I wonder, uh, Shiv, I wonder if they're going to shove a Squadron 42 thing in there. We'll need we'll need live updates from you because we'll be watching uh, Locked Up. I, th I think you'll find that, that it's just a special time that they're going to have me on stage. Finally, bring out Proposing Melissa and say, "Look, we we no no that's later. Okay. Don't spoil the surprise. We're really sorry for the lack of Melissa Estrada <sighs> to make it up for you to compensate. Here is Melissa Estrada, and we'll <laughs> escort you for the rest of the con. Oh my God." <laughs> Uh, on the other stage, armor archetypes. Um, I'm actually quite interested in armor archetypes. I want to know what they're doing because I still don't like the way armor is organized. Uh, Cos and effect. Cosplay. <laughs> Gotta have the option. You remember what I said? If you see me on that cosplay. fucking stage, I was dragged up. Uh... I have to ask why that one is being filmed and live broadcast. It's not CitizenCon without it, dude. I know, but it can they be They gotta Citizen... have it. But there's it's ship there's, there's ship talk on the other side at the same time. <laughs> Do you ship, ship talk? We get to live design a ship, man. Guess, it's guess in the what UK. I... Is anyone going to dress up we are british you are british so you're all dressed up by default um quick question quick survey of the panel and the audience what would you rather watch cosplay or ship talk panel uh cosplay because it's always hilariously bad ship talk I want to see people cosplay as ships and then talk about it. Uh, CH Maverick combine, is is Jessica Negri what? appearing at this cosplay. Uh, fun fact: Mrs. Eris uh, saw some like follows her on Instagram and finally actually looked and was like, "I think this lady does like porn." No, lots of her her outfits are very very. Um, she does almost porn. Very, very lacking. Almost like her... porn. It's and... it's no that that's 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 a whole <laughs> like subsection of it where you're almost there, <laughs> but you you don't quite have the daddy issues to go the full hog. I just I yeah. thought it was hilarious because <laughs> I like yeah. that that was her her uh, her. You know, yeah. decision after watching or after looking at just Jessica, Jessica. She was looking at a Pikachu outfit and was like, "There's like five <laughs> pieces of fabric that, in this not Pikachu an outfit. <laughs> There's five pieces of it's just what you go to sleep with." <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so while yeah, we're premium, watching premium premium Snapchat, that's yes. what, that's what I was looking yeah. for. While we're watching cosplay, uh, you guys will be watching ship talk, I assume. Yep, I will anyway. But then there's... I think me and Shiver might split up. I don't know. You guys are going to have to do, like, separate reports on the con. Uh, oh, will we? Yeah. Uh, it's part of your contract. Uh, then there's... No building... one's anything about homework. It's not <laughs> homework. You're doing it at the con. It's not at home. No, I did, I, did, <laughs> I, do have a, I do plan to write up a thing about Citizen Con after we're done. Good. Then there's... And it will be one paragraph that says, David was not here, and I cried. <sighs> I have a David really... Was un... David was unable to attend, and I couldn't repay his slaps. <laughs> I only slapped you twice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You deserved them. Oh, my God. You deserved you one of them. You don't even remember what I said. Not at all. I was drunk. Actually, no, yeah, I don't think I was drinking for one of them. No, you were. Oh, uh, yeah, I probably was. <laughs> I probably was. 
<laughs> um, I have no sleep and alcohol. Um, then there's building a dynamic universe. Learn how Star Citizen will create and balance system content for entire star systems with a live demonstration of the universe simulator. That's going to be good shit. Yeah. Yes. 195%. With Tony Z. That. With Tony Zurevek. That. That. That should be, that should be two hours long. Uh, so, as we've been looking through this this list of things for Star Citizen Citizen Con, I mean the half hour adventure begins. Who cares? It's just Chris Roberts. Uh, terrible. <laughs> whatever languages, <laughs> microtech and sounds. Who cares? Lore. Whatever. Uh, prisons. Eh. Could be cooler if Tony Z was giving it. Uh, shooting. Great. UI. I mean, who needs UI in a game anyway? Uh, something for event attendees no one cares armor archetypes who wears armor we all go around in our underwear anyway cosplay i mean that's what we're all really looking forward to no one cares about ships no one in the star citizen community is interested in ships no right no, no, there no, no no the one the one that is going to be good it's the one on the croshaw stage starting at 7 30 right there there it is the na yeah. Yeah. No, all literally all of Citizen Con. All of Citizen Con is right there from 7 p.m. to 9.30. An hour and a half closing. What is going to be in that hour and a half closing? Because that, um, that, that uh, math. Well, we know, they're gonna have to, we know they're going to have to run their demo at least twice because it'll crash. Uh, yep. Yeah. But but seriously, C H Mavericks, right? There will be cake covered in like eighty strangers spit that is then shared out between the lot of us, <laughs> so we can all contract flu. Yeah. Uh, um, seriously though, that two and a half hour block that is Citizen Con right there. Can I just say something? Yes. I feel really Time's bad up. for. Jo I feel really bad for John Crew, and company, because yeah. everyone's yeah. gonna go to the ship talk. And then they're going to leave halfway through to go see Tur Tony Zervik. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to stay with John. I'm going to be part of the John crew. Are you? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Just so I can say I'm part of the John crew. Yeah. Okay. That and just that. because of just because of that, I may actually, I might actually just stay for the cosplay thing and then watch the Tony Zervek one. Uh, we will also have to try and when they're up posted to YouTube, restream the watching of the ones that weren't shown live, which is what we did last year, or at least we did. Yep. I don't know. Might if we have to be the, them. Might have to be the next day or two or three though, because you guys will be just yes. smoked by the end of that. Well, I'm, I'm going to finish this from like 6 a.m. till what what time is it gonna go till like noon four, four? five so I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish that and i'm gonna have to go straight upstairs and take over a baby because yep. Cass will be with the baby the entire day up till then so um we're gonna try to see if we can phone in yes you'll have to yes we'll need really good wi-fi here's hoping yeah <laughs> even just call in with audio would be fine <laughs> Can you patch us through? Yeah. Oh, I guess it, I guess Discord. never mind. Discord will work just fine. Yeah, but again, work easy. Uh, yeah, okay. Be a problem. As long as the as long as the event center's Wi-Fi isn't totally overwhelmed. Yeah. Now we you should call uh, during the cosplay section. Um, totally. <laughs> this costume is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I actually really want to know what's going on mm. on that stage while we're not watching that stage. Well, there are loads of people that are dressed up like complete wankers that have all walked on. I don't know what the fuck they think they're... Oh. Oh, oh wait, that's... Gosh. That's the guys from Manchester, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, let's get to the questions that we have. We've got uh, five. 
Okay. So if you got any That's questions, probably enough for the rest of the show to be honest. Can I can I ask a question of the audience first? Yes, go. So Star Citizen has compressed their ship sales down to fewer anyway this year. Um so actually this is something I want to talk about. I to completely forgot, and I probably shouldn't have, that the intergalactic aerospace expo thing is also happening with Citizen Con. So I'm wondering if there will be more than those three ships. Because they usually would have, in previous years, unveiled ships for CitizenCon and then for the Expo as well. And now they're the same thing. So I don't know. True. It's going to be my a question ship for the, My question for the community is, for everybody watching, because you know my background, Will they be able to beat last year for funding considering they have shrunken their time frame for ship sales? Yes. Maybe. Definitely. Because if, if there is anything that Star Citizen fans are, it's crazy. So far, we've got a uh, nope, a yes, and a maybe. <laughs> I mean, Jeff. it's good to see some consensus there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. If they really knock it out of the park at Citizen Con, they'll probably do great. But I, so I'm going to be honest here. I actually think that this Citizen Con is going to be phenomenal. Uh, as pessimistic as I am and continue to be and will continue to be, I I think that this is going to be a damn good citizen con. Um, I don't think it's going to be quite enough, but no, no, I, I seriously think that they are overcoming the biggest problems that they had, which was for years, the game just wasn't ready and wasn't ready to be shown. And they finally got a game that isn't ready, but it's getting to the point where it's ready to be shown. Now Star Citizen is at the point where if it was traditionally published, now is when they would be showing it at game shows. Right? As long as you'd be sticking to the in, a few, years we're, in a few years we're going to launch this game yeah. model that the, some the, the traditional the, yeah. the way it had been forever and it's only now started to change. But anyway. You say now, like in the last five years, it's yes. changed. Yes. Five years is very now. Uh, okay, let's hit these questions. Ashley asks, would you like to see telemetry on what kind of ships are being flown? Yes. yes. Absolutely. They and would never do it. And even more than flown, I'd like to see telemetry on what kind of ships are owned. We know that the Aurora is the most owned ship. We know basically nothing beyond they that. Will never, they will never share that in a million years. They won't, but I would love to see it. Um, Star Wars Forever asks, did uh, yep. Disney steal the Cutlass Black for the Mandalorian? Yes, yes 100%. Uh, well, <laughs> no, they did not. Yes, that, they did. That, that ship uh, predates the Cutlass, so no, they did not. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's a, Star it's a Clone Wars era ship. Oh, so Star Citizen. So stole... Star Citizen stole it. Yeah, just like they stole literally everything from <laughs> every sci-fi franchise. Yep. Star Citizen is the greatest hits of sci-fi. Yep. Pretty much. Uh, they just need. They really need a Star Trek looking ship, though, like an actual, like, you know, Endeavor. disc Endeavor. UFO UFO shaped like front part and the like the cells and the. Think of what hole. the Endeavor could have been. Yeah, the, the Endeavor could have been a Star Trek ship. The Endeavor could have been a Star Trek ship up to and including the part where they break away the top, like, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the Star Trek ship separates. Yeah, the... it's like listening, it's like listening to your parents talk about Facebook or something. It's physically hurts. Thing that pulls away from the thing. You mean source of separation! Yes. <laughs> The UFO looking thing. The saucer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that thing. Uh, for those the round one those, that separates. Oh, for those who would like to know this information, um, the ship the Mandalorian flies is from the same manufacturer as the ship 
that uh, Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon fly into the Trade Federation blockade right in the opening scene of Star Wars Episode. Cool, cool. Yep, same ship. Or same uh, same planet. I used to be able to quote the entirety of Star Wars Episode One from memory. I, I can probably quote most of all of the movies. It was... I loved... Uh... I love that movie. Uh, Dazzy Star asks, uh, I need to earn money to rent a prospector. I have an Avenger. What is the quickest way? The quickest way is to buy a prospector. Courier missions. Steal a prospector. Or, or ask someone prospector. who's got. I mean, I mean, the the probably the best thing to do first is to ask in chat if you can use one because a lot of these people are strangely generous and say, "Yeah, use it." Yeah. Yeah. Blow it up. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Seriously, just ask in chat, and someone will probably be, "Yeah, take mine for a go." People are nice. The Star Citizen community is actually a <laughs> bunch of really. Oh, really there's nice complete people. bastards too. There are complete bastards, but. There's more nice people. Um, mm -hmm. Saint Tosin asks, is Star Citizen worth investing in 4K hardware? Not yet. No. But when it comes out, probably. There is no such thing as 4K hardware right Thank now. Thank you. Oh, uh, so there's, yeah, there's the monitor. Uh, there's the 4K uh, monitor, but that's about it. The new AMD, well, uh, the new the 20, AMD chip is mwah, mm, the twenty eighty. Mm. The twenty, the, but that the twenty eighty Ti can do it, right? Yes. Uh, not uh, well. Well, this is this is what it means. I mean, yes, if you're playing the original GTA or Counter Strike, if you're playing The Witcher Three, no, no, really, yeah, wow, four K is stupid. Uh, and again, depending on how what FPS you want, it'll hit at sixty at times. But it's going to drop at certain points. There's nothing that could do a stable 60 FPS 4K of a really good modern game, as far um, as I'm aware. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so I, I'm just looking here. The average average frames for the 2080 Ti and Witcher 3 are 94, but 99th percentile is 60 so it might drop yeah you're not going to get stable frame rates and, and not only I, that the witcher the witcher 4 at this point or witcher 3 at this point is what four years old five years old four years old four years old don't it's a lot of pixels to push he, here's the things do not do not build for star citizen until star citizen is out yeah yep. Period. Build a new computer for if you want to play other games. Yeah, computers will get a lot better between now and then. Um, and keep in mind, build a new oh. computer and then upgrade the GPU down the road, yeah. right? Yeah. That's the best part about computers. You can yeah. build, upgrade them later. Get a good processor, get good everything else, get a medium GPU that will run Star Yo. Citizen 4 Or use your existing if, GPU if, if you already are, have one. Yeah. If you're looking for a good CPU right now and you've got a decent chunk of change, to be fair. That would be uh, not the, AM, the AMD 3950X is probably the best CPU on the market right now. Yeah, they did good with that one. Uh, they did a very good job. Next question. Spaceship training wheels. What, if any, noticeable Thank you. differences will we see with Vulcan full integration besides frame rate improvements? Could Vulcan integration be the big thing that's holding back Squadron 42? No. No. Squadron 42 just... is holding back Squadron 42. Yeah. It, the, the rendering... It, it, no. Star Citizen already looks gorgeous. It's only going to continue looking gorgeous... Um, Vulcan just makes it so it'll look gorgeous on more things without uh, preferences being showed as much. Um, well, and it'll run better, and it will be um, it will open up some possibilities for future um, uh, features. I think, um, but it's not going to be like a gigantic shift. It's just, it's a, another 
thing that they need to knock down in terms of the hardware hurdles for the future. Or not on um, hardware, but like big technical hurdles. <clears throat> Uh, Fastcart asks, who do you think will propose to whom this year? I already answered. Shiver's going to propose to Nakara. Yeah, yeah, we we covered this. Um, Shiver, un- sorry, unless I meet sorry Melissa. For, sorry, for, sorry for spoiling the surprise, but we are a news organization. Yeah. So. Can't hide the facts. Yeah. You did not send us an embargo. Sorry. And even if you had... We also need to get rid of that fax machine. <laughs> so yes. I gotta give uh, I gotta give uh, David props for getting our website back up and and online again. Thank you, my friend. It's there. I did it. Yay! Basic website things. <laughs> thank you for the uh, thank you, Shiver, for pointing out that our website was offline. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> the only person that uses it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we get like eight or nine hits a week. Yeah. We've sort of shifted to this. That's me. Yep. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I know I know it's been a while, but yeah, I do I'm gonna write up uh an article with my thoughts after uh Citizen Con and it's going up on our website and then people can visit it for the first time in a while. Uh, and Pan Man asks, how are the finances going for Star Citizen? Uh, oh, that's a good question. So this is where, that was why I kind of asked that question was, um, so they're at uh, a couple things, first of all. Um, we, because Star Citizen did the whole thing where they're now, they sold part of the company, they are going to be putting out a full financial report at the end of this year which will bring us up to date on their finances up to the end of last year, I believe. Um, so on the crowdfunding front, um, they're at 240, almost $242 million. Uh, they're 241 right now. And uh, so they are currently about $14 million. No, that's not right. Sorry. About $10 million from where they ended last year. So the that was why I asked that question, is they need to make $10 million in the next six Month. weeks. Wow. Um, in order to do it. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it is definitely something they've done before. Um, so it really, really rests on citizen con and uh, the holiday sale to see whether they can pull it off yeah um uh, my suspicion is that they will uh hit a new high um which would be about 38 million dollars um as i mentioned a few times previously they have been tracking to 40 plus million for a long time this year i'm very curious to see if they can actually pull that off now that they have compressed their sales down to just like a few weeks near the end of the year um so that's going to be uh interesting to watch in my in my mind with especially since they raised so much money um with the sale of 10 percent of the company um i don't think that they're in any kind of financial problem even before that they had money yeah and now they have like 50 million dollars in the bank they've been they've been fine. fine for a while um yep Lanorth asks, <clears throat> sorry, I missed the start of the stream. Don't know if it's already been talked about. What is up with the Crytek ray tracing thing with old non-RTX cards? And could that make its way to Star Citizen? Uh, yes. It, it very well could make it to Star Citizen. It could, but if everything goes right, you won't need it. RT, RTX, everyone's going on. Oh, it makes everything look great. It makes everything look great. Yeah. But that also means that programmers can be lazy and not do it properly the first time because now the GPU is doing it for you, whereas Star Citizen are doing it right the first time and you won't, it wouldn't make it, hopefully, if everything goes to plan, it will make fucking shit all difference. I know everyone's going to be like, oh my god! But yeah, get over it. RTX is this, fool. yeah, if you do lighting properly in the first place, it looks at least as good as this RTX thing, if not better. Simple it's supposed that. to just add more. 
It's supposed to just mm. make it make your lighting just a little bit better. I think RT I think ray tracing is one of those things that is going to be a big feature, but in like five or six years. Yeah. Uh can um, I just say though control control on PC looks extremely good because of ray tracing. It's just it's too mu- it's a it's a huge, huge performance hit right now. Like just yeah. gigantic. And that's what like they asked they asked CIG about it. And they're like, it's not worth it. Yeah. Yes, we could the do North. it. SC does they're... reflections in a completely unique way that doesn't actually impact performance. Yep. Um Rend- it's rendered to text. Yeah. Getting so... rendered to texture figured out for Star Citizen was huge. Oh, they they had to do that. But uh, they've talked to they've talked to CIG about it, or there, people have asked questions to CIG, and CIG basically said it's this gigantic performance hit. If we can figure out a way to do it that doesn't cause a huge performance hit, we might do it. But otherwise, there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> so Star Citizen is you know? already a big enough performance hit on its own. Um, yeah. Haramis asks last question: What is the last you heard something about Seda Ball? Uh, last we <laughs> heard. <laughs> Is it's dead in the water for the foreseeable future. Yep. That not doesn't being, mean dead forever, though. Doesn't mean dead forever, no. but it means not being worked on, uh, not planned. Yeah, just not being worked on. Um, sad. Which is sad, but it also makes sense. Sadaball is kind of an extra, uh, and it's kind of important for them to get the game before they start... I'd rather them work on the game, yes. Yeah. Get get the game before they start working on the extras. As much as I want Seda Ball, and believe me, I want it. It looks so much fun. Uh, Jake's the only bastard here it that got fun. to play it. Yeah, Jake actually got to play Seda Ball. He's one of the few humans who's played it. Yep. Uh, pets? Uh, so, the funny thing about pets is before they can give you pets... They need animals. Yep, which they're working on. They're working on, but let's get some animals. Oh, wait, I've got a surprise. Last like four minutes of the show. Uh oh. <gasps> Turn that one off. That is a tiny human. Greetings, miniature like... human. Greetings, miniature Hi. human's mother. <laughs> David, every time he wakes up, do you, uh, David, every time he wakes up, do you go Link's Awakening? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I might. I might have bought Link's Awakening a hundred percent. You know that baby is giving this look of the fuck you doing? Even I know I don't want to be here. <laughs> What's this, Link? Can you see what this is? Okay. It is far from the first quiet, quiet. Star Citizen baby. <laughs> oh my. I tried to get him to speak to everyone, but um, no such luck. Uh, with that, with, with this. Someday this done. guy's... Someday this guy's gonna... Uh, what's that? Are you gonna fly ships someday? Who, who was... Real ships. <laughs> they keep shaving my beard off, and I have a cold face. <laughs> yeah, his oh. first words are gonna be "give LTI." <laughs> He's got more hair than me, Lenore. He's uh Oh jeez. He sliced his <laughs> he finger. He sliced his face open. Yeah. We need to cut his fingernails. Yeah, he's over here. Uh I gotta go cut a baby's fingernails because he literally cut his cheek open and drew blood. So uh ah. that's that's gonna be my evening. Um, so um he doesn't have very good uh, you know, self preservation skills yet, hey? You gotta teach him that. Yeah, not yet. We're working on it. <laughs> gonna teach him to box next week. Um, <laughs> hey, follow, subscribe, Discord, you know. 
Also, um, push the button. There is a captain's table this week, is there? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, go watch our buddy Paul uh, there. Um, let's in... see who's on the schedule today. What is today? Sixteenth. It is. Yeah. Execute and Super Gandora Olap. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, I don't know who um, either of those people are. So, uh, yeah, that sh- uh, the captain's table starts in two hours. So go check out uh, go check out Paul's uh, excellent discussion of Star Citizen. It's probably a hell of a lot better than ours. Way better. <laughs> but but we have fun. But we had a baby on. This is true. So you all win. <gasps> see you, Sunjammer. I'm so excited to see Sunjammer. Been a year for me. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Ooh. Been great having you and talking to you. We will see next you time. all next uh, week, next bright week. and early. Oh my God, so early. The whole damn so day. So early. Extremely early. Keep an eye uh, straight up for next week. Keep an eye on our Twitch, on our Twitter, and on Discord yeah, because we'll we will be announcing when we're going live, when we're going for bathroom breaks, when Jake has killed Rat. Dolvac. Um, yep. All those things, uh, you're going to need to follow that if you want to follow uh-huh. us. Also, Dolvac will be on next week. Dolvac. Oh, there's going to be so much alcohol. A lot. We're going to make... That's when we're going to make the, the drinks. Yes. We're going to make the G-Lock bar drinks. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone. Thank you all Citizen for Con hanging people. out. Have a great weekend. Everybody, everybody going to Citizen Con, wear your shirts. Wear your relay shirts. If you don't have one, go to our website, click the merch button. Goodbye. And shiver, (laughs) wear some chaps. Bye, everyone. Yes, goodbye.